Listen, son. I am saying this as you not lie asleep. One little paw crumbled under your cheek, and my palm stickly wet on your damp forehead. I have stolen into your room alone. Just a few minutes ago, as I sat reading my paper in the living room, a stifling wave of remorse swept over me. Guiltily, I came to your bedside. There are things I was thinking, son. I had been cross to you. I scolded you as you were dressing for school because you gave your face merely a dab with a towel. I took you to task for not cleaning your shoes. I called you out angrily when you threw some things on the floor. At breakfast, I found fault too. You spilled things. You gummed down your food. You put your elbows on the table. You sprayed your butter too thick on the bread. And as you started off playing, and I made way for work, you turned and waved a hand and called, Goodbye, Daddy. And I frowned and said in reply, Hold your shoulders back. Then it began all over again. In the late afternoon, as I came up the road, I spied you down on your knees playing marbles. There were holes in your socks. I humiliated you before your friends by marching you ahead of me in the house. Socks were expensive. If you had to buy them, you would be more careful. Imagine that, son, from a father. Well, son, it was shortly afterwards that my paper slipped from my hands and a terrible, sickening fear came over me. What has habit been doing to me? The habit of finding fault, of reprimanding this was my reward to you for being a boy. It was not that I did not love you. It was that I was expecting too much of your youth. I was measuring you by the yardstick of my own years. And there was so much that I was good and fine and truth in your character. The little heart of you was as big as dawn itself over the wide hills. This was shown by your spontaneous impulse to rush in and kiss me goodnight. Nothing else matters tonight, son. It is a feeble atonement. I know you would not understand these things if I told them to you in the dawn hours. But tomorrow, I will be a real daddy. I will chum with you and suffer when you suffer and laugh when you laugh. I will bite my tongue when impatient words come. I will keep saying as if it is a ritual. He is nothing but a boy, a little boy. I am afraid I have visualized you as a man. Yet, as I see you now, son, crumbled and weary in your cot, I see that you are still a baby. Yesterday you were in your mother's arms, your head on her shoulder. I have asked too much, too much. <laughs>